So first and foremost, I want to clarify that what happened to Linus Tech Tips channel was not a hack in the traditional sense of the word. Linus was never locked out of his account and he retained full control of everything. Most importantly, this is not just a YouTube thing. Any website that you log into with an email and password is vulnerable to this type of attack. The good news is for you, it's very easy to protect yourself, your computer, and your internet security with just a few simple steps that I'm going to show you. This entire fiasco could have been completely avoided by following a few basic rules that we call best practices on the internet. So there's a couple pieces to the puzzle that you first need to understand. First, and in no particular order, is Windows file extensions. Microsoft turns off file extension visibility by default in order to maximize and streamline your Windows experience. The problem with that is that if you're not very knowledgeable on how malware and viruses spread, you could fall victim to an attack very easily. So look at this example. Here's what appears to be two PDF files. If you were to get these files in an email attachment, they would just look like two PDF files but you would be wrong. The file on the left is a legitimate PDF. The file on the right is a file that is designed to trick you into thinking it is a PDF, but in actuality, it is malware. With file extensions hidden by default in Windows, they both look legitimate. As you can see, when you look at the file properties of each one, the one on the left is actually a PDF file, while the one on the right is an SCR file, which is an executable file in Windows. This is how one of Linus's employees got tricked into clicking on the file to open it. When that happened, the malware did exactly what it was designed to do. More on that in a second. So in order to fix this problem, make the file extensions visible at all times, you want to open Windows Explorer. At the top of the window, click on View, then go to Options, then change folder and search options. When this next window opens, click on view in the middle. Find the item that says hide file extensions for known file types. Uncheck the box and click apply. Now all Windows file extensions will be visible so you won't click on something you accidentally shouldn't. Now if you look closer at those two files, you will see that one is a PDF and the other is actually an SCR executable file. Now it should also go without saying that you definitely need an antivirus program on your computer. Even Windows Defender at minimum is better than not having an antivirus at all. Additionally, you should be very careful about what email attachments you open because you never know if the next email that comes in that looks legitimate is actually a bug that takes your computer down and deletes your files. So now on to what actually happened to Linus. When his employee clicked on that email that appeared to be a PDF file, he actually opened an infected file with a malware attached. This malware was designed to copy what's called a user's session cookie and send it back to some bad actor in some other country. So what is a session cookie and how was that used to take over Linus's channel? A session cookie is a small piece of data that a website like Facebook, YouTube, any social media, even your online bank, sends back to your web browser when you visit that website. The cookie is stored in your browser's memory for the duration of your session on that website and it's used to keep track of all the activities that you do on that site while you're logged in. So for example, when you log into a website with a username and password like Facebook, the site uses a session cookie to track your login status. As you navigate the website, the cookie allows the website to remember who you are and lets you stay logged in. Once you close your browser and log out of the website, that session cookie usually is supposed to clear or be deleted. In this case, the browser either wasn't closed or the cookie somehow didn't get deleted. So this user session was duplicated and sent over to this bad actor who then imported it into the browser and it was like they were sitting right there. So now that bad person had full access just like Linus's employee did. At that point, they could start deleting videos, unlisting them, renaming the channel, uploading fake Bitcoin scam live streams, all kinds of stuff. But to Linus, it just looked like someone had hacked his account. But in fact, it wasn't a hack. It was just bad observance of best practices. It was obviously a scam, but by the time YouTube caught on, the damage was already done and sent Linus into panic mode. Poor Linus stayed up all through the night and into the next day trying to get his YouTube channel back. And it was only after everything was restored that he was able to finally figure out what happened. And even Linus admits that if he had just followed a couple simple steps, as I've just explained to you, this could have all been avoided. So the reason I'm telling you this is because it's not just a YouTube thing. If you have any website that you log into, whether it's social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even your online banking, if you fall victim to this by not following best practices, you too could be a victim. Look, the bad guys are out there. They're always going to be one step ahead of the good guys. If you believe your system may be infected already, you might want to watch this video right here where I show you how to very easily get all the bad guy junk off your computer. Thanks so much for watching.